you know, Splatoon 3's balance is in a pretty good spot right now. Sure, there are a lot of stinkers, and while the comp meta is pretty strict, it's surprising what you can get away with in the grand scheme of things. But balance is never perfect, and while other weapons fall behind, some rise up. Further than it ever should have. It makes you wonder, should this concept have even been put in the game at all? I mean, look at the splatter shot, Nova. Are you seeing this shit? That's at least three feet. And he died. Also, the Clash Blaster right here, it's not that good. The Clash Monster was included at launch in Splatoon 2, being unlocked at level 30. Now that's funny, because at that point you're probably at a skill level where it just sucked. What I mean by that is while a newer player can definitely make use of the blast radius, when you get better at aiming, you lose the only real advantage of the weapon, not having to aim very well. Its DPS is just too bad to keep up in the grand scheme of things. Most weapons can rush you down and you're dead, because even directs don't kill that fast. Combine these two things and you get a weapon that you don't need to put any real effort into, which wouldn't make it overpowered. But it doesn't kill very well, making it underpowered. It basically scales in effectiveness with your skill, being a crutch for bad aim, but as soon as you get better at aiming, you just don't have the DPS to keep up in a 1v1 in most cases. I'm pretty sure we've all complained about it in a salt-filled rage, but that's when we were worse at the game. I don't even remember any time a Clash Blaster has been a genuine issue outside of waiting at the checkpoint on tower control, and I honestly can only remember that situation from one game a couple months ago. The kit's pretty okay. Splat Bomb will always be a solid duel to have and can be used to pressure enemies away with a one-shot, and Trizuka can cover long-range combat. I don't like the other kit. But here's the problem with vanilla. Splat Bombs are ink hungry, and you won't always have them, especially newer players who aren't super experienced in ink management. And Trizuka is one of the hardest specials in the game to use because of that arc. It, it doesn't even make sense. How is a newer player going to use that effectively? You might be wondering, why am I talking in the context of new players? Well, that's because unless you're at low ranks and need aim crutches, I genuinely can't recommend using this thing. It can be overpowered in low ranks, you don't need to aim well, and it's not like a couple C-minus players whose moms bought them the game yesterday are gonna know how to rush you down. But after you get to A ranks, it just becomes pointless. Everything out damages you. What's the point? Hell, I can't even recommend new players use it, because even if it's a lower level, level 22 is still pretty high up and crutches can hurt you in the long run. Learn how to aim well, at least with H3. Who knows, maybe you're one of those weirdos who likes burst fire weapons. This is just a shooter you don't need to aim as much with. But honestly, despite how poor the damage is, despite how big the blast is, I don't think they should change this thing. It's definitely not good. But even a slight buff to its fire rate could basically make it unstoppable, and honestly, I don't think this thing needs to be even further in the grave for high ranks, even to protect new players. But in conclusion, at least I got some funny Trizuka clips.